What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another PS4 modding tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to UI mod the home screen of your PS4, which is basically just replacing the images. How to replace the images on all your different uh, games and apps that you have on the home screen of your PS4. As you can see I've changed the, the um, home screen image of OMSK, the OMSK application, um, just as I was experimenting and testing stuff out. You can see I changed it. So. Yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing, swapping out the images on the home screen of the PS4 for any image you have on your computer. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. Now I have made a application, a little program that does this for you, uh, which is quite handy and I'll be showing you guys how to use that. A uh, link to download that will be in the description and I will also show you guys the manual way of doing it through uh, FileZilla because it is done through FTP as well. If you don't want to use my application for whatever reason, you can, of course, do it manually through FileZilla. And uh, you're going to need the WebKit exploit set up for this, so make sure you go ahead and set that up if you haven't got it set up already. And I recommend having the browser patch installed as well, so you can run the internet browser without being signed into PSN. So go ahead and check that out. I'll link them on screen and in the description for the tutorials on setting up the WebKit exploit if you haven't got that set up already. But assuming you have, we will continue on here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is note down your IP address of your PS4 by heading into the settings and scrolling down to network and then view connection status. And you can see the fourth one down is my IP address 192.168.137.23. So note the IP address down in your head because you're going to need to type that in uh, on the computer in order to connect and then head on into the internet browser. If you don't have the browser patch installed then access the WebKit Playground through the user guide in the settings and you're going to want to head to one of the WebKit Playground links. So there's this one here on extrememodding.de. Uh, alternatively there's a shorter link you can go to which is uh, this one here I believe which is f-x.fr forward slash ps4 forward slash which is a shorter link um, so you can access this one which also has the FTP plus debug settings which you're going to press X to launch on the other one if we just close window on this version it's down here FTP plus uh, debug settings and you press X on that to enable it okay and that is it enabled so now that it's enabled I'm gonna go ahead and transfer over to the computer and show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so once we're on the computer, what you're gonna to want to go ahead and do is download the PS4 UI editor. This is a little application I made to make things a little bit easier. Um, if you're not familiar with FileZilla or using FTP to do this stuff, I will of course go over that though. Um, at the end, I will go over uh, doing it manually through uh, FTP, through uh, FileZilla. So to do it with uh, this PS4 UI editor, all you have to do is go ahead and download it, run the program. It will, if you've used the program before, it will remember the IP address that you last used. So that'll be stored right there for you. If not, you just type in the IP address. You can see it's got mine already in here, 192.168.137.23. And the port number will be entered for you automatically as well, which is 1337. So go ahead and type in your IP address um, into this box and click connect and you can see down on the right what it's doing so currently it has to download the image files. Unfortunately this can take quite a while um, to download the image files. I have no idea why, um, you know, I genuinely I have no idea why uh, this takes so long. It shouldn't take so long but, but it does. Uh, that was not too bad this time but I am on a wired connection. so. What it does is it downloads the image files, it displays them in this list box right here. So you've got all the different image files uh, that you saw on my PS4. And if you want to extract an image, you can right click, replace an image or extract an image on each one of these. You can also do it through drag and drop, which is faster. So if I want to go ahead and extract this image. I can just drag it to my desktop and the image is now on my desktop that I can go ahead and uh, use for whatever reason or back up if I want to back it up. Uh, it is recommended you make a backup of your original images so that you don't lose them or that you can put them back on uh, afterwards. Uh, of course you can also back up the images uh, right here if you click back up images it'll say back them up to default location you can say yes uh, which will back them up to the install directory in the temp folder in the install directory of this application. If you say no then it will ask you where you want to go ahead and save it. So I'm going to select this uh, backups folder I created and just uh, tell it to save it in there and it'll say backup completed 
and then we can go in here and you can see it has created the backup right here with all the folders and the image files are in each one of these folders so you can back that up um, which is recommended to do that before you make any changes to the images and to actually replace the images as you can see here I've got my two YouTube um, logos this is my old uh, YouTube avatar from you know a few couple of years ago and this is my current uh, YouTube avatar so I'm going to change maybe the playroom and this uh, OMSK icon to my two avatar images now as you can see the image files are uh, almost the right size they're 500 pixels by 500 pixels uh, you don't have to worry about resizing the images in this tool it will do that for you automatically the default images for the home screen are 512 by 512 pixels so um, you don't have to worry about resizing them you can put any sized image I think this image here was a 1920 by 1080 uh, image that I put in here and it automatically resizes it resizes it to 512 by 512 pixels so you don't have to worry about that so to replace the images you can either right click and replace image or you can simply select the image you want to replace and then drag uh, the new image on top to replace it and that goes ahead and replaces it and let's replace the playroom with the other avatar image so I can do that once you're done and you're happy with the images you've replaced you just click apply changes and you can see uploads images to PS4 and done that's all very fast and it just go, goes ahead and does that and that's it that's the images replaced so in order to actually apply that um, that is applied but you will not notice anything change if I open up my capture card here and I just back out of uh, the web browser you'll see that the images haven't changed and they will not change until you restart the PS4 so I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the power button of my PS4 and turn it off and when I turn it back on the images should have changed so there we go switching off now okay so we're booting back up booting the PS4 back up and I'm going to log into user 1 and as you can see the images have changed. We've now got my two avatar images for OMSK and the playroom which are the ones that we replaced. So that is how you do it using um, my little PS4 UI editor the little program. But if you want to do it manually, then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that through FileZilla. The advantage of doing it manually is you can also change the background images. The background images are the images that are loaded when you actually uh, load one of these. Like if you load um, a game or the playroom, there's a little background image that displays while the actual application or game is loading. And then once it's loaded and starts actually launching the game or launching the app, uh, the background image disappears. Um, which is why I don't really think there's much point in actually changing the background images because they only appear for a few seconds while the application is actually loading. Um, but if you guys do want to change that, I'm also going to show you how to do that manually as well. So let's head back over to the computer and I'll show you guys how to do that manually. Okay guys, so back over to the computer here. I'm just going to close this application now. So in order to do this manually, you're going to have to get an FTP client like FileZilla. Um, or WinSCP or something like that. You want to go to the site manager and create a new site. As you can see, I've already got PS4 added here, but um, again, just for reference, I'll show you how you do that. So you go ahead and click new site, enter something like PS4, and enter the IP address of your PS4 into the host. So mine was one, uh, 137.23. Enter the port number is 1337. Leave everything else as default and click OK and then just select it from the drop down menu and it will connect to your PS4 and of course it won't because I have not actually even loaded the uh, WebKit exploit and actually enabled the FTP function. So that would definitely help if I went ahead and did that. FTP server, enable, and that should be us working now. Uh, as you can see, I've loaded that back up. So let's go ahead and try that again, connect. And we are connected to the PS4 so the location of your image files are in user app meta and then these are the folders that contain your different images each folder represents a game or an app that's installed on your ps4 so this one here is omsk and then i'm not sure which one's which out of these three but you can always just go in to the folders and extract one of the icons to check uh, so you can see this one here is the playroom image uh, that i've replaced with my old uh, avatar picture 
So if you want to do this manually and swap this out, say I want to swap uh, this image for uh, this image here, uh, then what I can do is to do it manually, you have to resize the images. So you'd have to open it up in say paint, if you have paint installed, well, you will have if you're on a Windows system, and then you drag the image that you want to uh, replace you want to drag that into paint and then you're going to go to resize you're going to go to pixels and you're going to select 512 by 512 i see this one's already set to 512 and 512 but if it wasn't you set it to those numbers 512 512 for horizontal and vertical you click ok and then you would just save it and then once you've got it to the right size you can just uh, delete the original image drag and drop your replacement image in and then rename it to uh, icon0 so it's icon0.png so I'll change this to icon0.png and that's how you do it manually um, so that is how you do that if you want to go ahead and change the background images if I extract one of these uh, pics and in fact the background images are pic1 uh, .dds, not PNG. The PNG will look the same. It will be the same as the background image. So you can see this is the background image for the playroom. Um, so that is not the one that's actually displayed though. It's the actual DDS file that's displayed. It's kind of weird. With the home screen images, it is the PNG that is displayed, but with the background images, it's actually the DDS file that's displayed. So for uh, pick one, so for your backgrounds, if you want to change the background, then you would have to uh, change it to a .dds file. So let me find a background image that I could use. Okay, so let's say I wanted to go ahead and use this image of um, of Apparition Net Studio because uh, this was just one of the only images that I could actually find. Uh, so we've got the size here, 1199 by 600 pixels, which is the wrong size. The background images if you're going to change the background images, then you're looking for uh, the size to be 1920 by 1080, which is the size you need for a background image. So what you need to do is download paint.net. I'll link it in the description. It's a free application. Um, you can use Photoshop, I think, but you might need a DDS plugin for Photoshop if you're going to use that. Um, I know there's a, a NVIDIA plugin for Photoshop that allows you to save as DDS but I'm not sure if they've updated Photoshop since then and if it natively supports DDS now, I'm not sure. But paint.net does natively support .dds and it's free. So what you wanna do is just drag your image into paint.net and then go to image, resize, and then change it to 1920 by 1080 if it's not already on 1920 by 1080. So 1920, 1080, okay. And then what you wanna do is just do file, save, I'll just, I'll just save it in the uh, backups folder as well and change the save type or save as type to direct draw surface DDS click save and then it's going to ask what type and you're just going to select DXT1 oblique alpha is what you want to click OK and that will save it as a DDS file so if we go in here you can see we've now got our .dds file so we can open that up you can see it's the image and then all you want to do is rename it to pick one. So it's pick one.dds, and then just drag and drop and replace the original image with your uh, your modified one or your 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 new image. Okay, and that is how you change the background images as well. So that is how you do that. So I don't know, I was initially not sure if I was going to release the little PS4 UI editor. I am going to release it, I am going to put it in the description because I do think um, see, my biggest gripe with the pro this program I've made is how slow it takes to download the images, which I've tried to fix, and unfortunately, it is just slow. There's nothing I can really do to sort that. So it takes a while to download the images, but overall, I do think it's faster because you can, once it's populated the list with the images, you can swap out with swap it out with new images really fast, and you don't have to worry about resizing the images because it does that all automatically for you. So I do think it's worth uh, releasing it. So I hope you guys... Uh, will find that useful, uh, this little program. If not, there's always the manual way through FileZilla that you can go ahead and do as well. 
uh, you just have to resize the images manually but it does work all the same so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and leave a like subscribe if you haven't subscribed already comment if you have any questions and i will hopefully see you guys in my next video Shuffling